Good morning guys, welcome to a video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and I got a nice little uh, thrifty haul for you today. Um, none of this is antique, it's all 20th century beer, it's a lot of collectibles. Basically I go out, I buy antiques, collectibles, vintage, anything I think I can sell on either on eBay or in my shop here and I film the pieces for you to take a look at. Well today I got half a dozen pieces, um, come from a variety of places privately in charity shops mainly today so we'll get started and hopefully you'll enjoy I'm going to start off with this beautiful piece of Irish glass it is cut crystal produced by Waterford it's a large jug you can see the it still has its original label on it pattern name on this one is Glendor <coughs> this was bought privately over the door now you can see the quality is absolutely stunning all cut glass or crystal really nice uh, bought this off another dealer who brings stuff to me regular and I paid him 20 pound now that's more than I would have normally paid if I'd seen this at the car boot sale I'd have picked this up for 10 or 15 pounds but when he's in here I can do the research and we can have a look there were some people asking as much as 78 pound for one of these selling price as average was 40 to 45 pounds so that's absolutely fine i'll put it up for 45 pounds double my money with a 40 pound offer i'm happy enough with that i didn't have to leave the shop to go and get it same dealer brought me in a few pieces of Dan dansk danish design now it was an american company started i think it was in the 60s or 70s and they took inspiration from danish design now it's Dansk International because this one is fully stamped up Dansk Danish uh, Dansk Designs Denmark but the next one I'm going to show you is stamped up China now I think this one's the crown of thorns it's a candle holder for little tapered candlesticks um, where are we at there we go so you probably can't see it but it's stamped Denmark Designs Dansk now this one he actually listed on eBay <coughs> and I do watch his eBay because I bought a few pieces off him and he put it up for £40. Um, a few days later he dropped it down to £25 and I made him an offer £20 which he accepted, no postage. So I paid £20 for this one but they're comfortably selling between £40 and £50. He wasn't prepared to wait. I list this one now at 45 to 50 pounds and I'll wait for an offer and it will sell. It's a nice bit of modern design. Sticking with the uh, same company, Dansk, I had this pair of Love Heart candle holders off him. Again, you put a little taper candlestick in there. Really nice and heavy. Beautiful design. Fully stamped on the back. But these ones, are Stamp Dansk Design China. <coughs> so they're made in China. But they're still Dansk Design and they are beautiful. And again, they're going to sell for 20 quid, 25 quid. This last pair I had off him came in the original Dansk box. And they are very simple little leaves 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 and they are stamped exactly the same again Dansk design China but we have a really pretty little pair of leaves with the candle holders again 20 quidish now I paid 15 pound for the two two pair and 20 pound for the one that I purchased off him on eBay so 35 pound for three pair of candlesticks and to be honest with you they should return close to a hundred pound for the three. These are eBay items. <coughs> so these ones are going to go on eBay. They good name, good design, saleable items that will sell. The Waterford Jug, that's an eBay lot as well. To be honest, I think most of these are eBay today. They're not the type of things that I can sell in the shop. Now the next piece I'm going to show you came from my local charity shop. I paid a bit of money for it so we have an enameled kettle now this is described on eBay as the whistling rooster kettle 
Obviously, you got the rooster in the United Kingdom. We call them uh, cockerels, but in America, there's roosters. And this is an American firm. That's why it's down as a rooster. Kamenstein is the uh, company. There you go. And here's the price I paid: ten pounds. Now, the lady in the charity shop went on eBay and had a look, and she said, "Oh, yeah, they're selling between you know fifteen and." 220 pound but the one I've got this one was selling for about 20 25 pounds so I thought yeah all right um, I come back in the shop and I had a little Google and I searched yes these some of these kettles depend on the design sell as much as 200 220 pounds and as low as sort of 15 pounds but what she didn't realize was they were all in America there's none in the United Kingdom that I could find so by the time you buy them in America then you pay the 40 or 50 pound postage, then you pay the customs charges, you ended up paying like 100 pound for the kettle. So I'll comfortably put this on uh, eBay now for about 45 pound, United Kingdom with a fiber shipping, and they're still saving money. So, and it's in lovely condition. So I took a gamble on it, it was only a tenner, what am I going to lose? Absolutely nothing. Um, worst case scenario, I could put it in the shop there, 20 quid, somebody's going to buy it. It's just a nice cute kettle. Next piece, a bit of jewellery. Now, I buy beads quite a lot, and some beads, whether they are amber, or whether they're bakelite, or whether they're just cut stone, uh, semi precious stones, they can pull good money. A bakelite one can pull anything up to a thousand pounds. But what I got here is glass beads, and I'm going to give you a close up look of them now. Normally, when I buy beads and they look like this here, I'd normally call them Austrian. Um, we'd call them an Aurora Borealis bead uh, after the Northern Lights. But this one has got all the foil. See all the foils in the glass? So I'm thinking this one is a Murano. I'm not certain yet, I've got to do a bit of research on it. But I'm thinking it's a Murano one. And it came in for a couple of pounds. It was privately again, it wasn't. Uh, at a car boot sale or anything, but look at the colours on that. And they haven't even washed it yet, and they're sparkling. Um, value wise, well, it's missing a strand, which is always a downer. It should have been another strand in the middle. Um, so it's not going to be fortunes. I think, had it been complete and it is Murano, then it could have been talking what 40 or 50 pounds. As it is, it's probably going to be 10 or 15 pounds. It might be worth my while taking them off the center uh, piece here because it's two missing. If I take them off this piece and then put clasps on the ends, I then got two Murano necklaces, albeit uh, quite small. But I'll have two Murano necklaces that I could sell for 10 or 20 pounds each instead of 10 or 20 pounds for one. So I might do that because I got enough jewelry, costume jewelry and things that I could put a link on your and turn them into necklaces. So that's probably a job to put away for future restaurants. This one here is one in the shop, I think. I feel great. <laughs> he feels great. He was up in the uh, charity shop, I think it's Elmo. And as you hear it, he's a talking Elmo, and he feels great. And it is 1996. Tycho 1996. Great. All right, behave. So he's got decent age. I feel great. Surface wash only. Yeah. yeah, Sing and Snow Ernie. That's what he's called. So I'm going to have to look him up later. But um, I have of late started having people coming in buying quite a lot of my toys. So I thought, well, it was three quid up in the charity shop. And I thought, well, I'm going to have him. And there we go. Worst case scenario is 10 or 15 pounds in there, but it's just a little collectible. My final piece, I'm not 100% on what it is. I think it's a German goblet, but I'm going to show you now and you can have a look and decide yourself. So we've got a really nice goblet here. It's hand blown you can see there's got a ground out and polished smooth pontal mark 
So it's a hand blown goblet. It's got a design. I'm going to be with if I can get some paper. There we go. It's got a design running around. Well, you can see there you have a soldier on horseback and he's fired his pistol and he's about to blow the brains out of this person here. So, quite a violent scene, a battle scene. It's all hand painted. Thick, heavy glass with bubbles all the way through. Nice nope here. Now, I'm thinking it's German. All around the base here is painted as well. With almost like a fleur de lis. Um, I'm thinking German, but I'm not a hundred percent. I wasn't sure whether it was painted or transferred at the beginning, but I have had a look through, and I can see brush strokes, so I'm assuming painted. But what I also don't get is it's got numbers. This one here, I'll put this back in now. I don't know if you can see it. It's got a number four here. Got a number one here and here, number one here, number four, number four. So I'm not sure what the numbers are for, but I paid a tenner for the goblet. Never going to lose no money at the tenner. It's a really interesting piece. It's three part construction, so you've got the bowl, the stem, and the foot. Um, but I don't know. It's got this sort of brown amber honey colour, if you like. Really interesting piece. It's going to take research. I don't want to just sell it without knowing who it is. It might be a transfer printed, you know. Either way, I don't want to sell it until I do a bit more research on it, but it's a really nice goblet. I love the battle scene. Um, I'm sure somebody out there will know exactly what it is. But failing that, I may try a few Facebook groups if I can't get nowhere with my own research, but it's a really nice goblet. It's got potential. Real potential, that one. So that's about it, guys, for today's video. The dance design always sells. Look out for it. It's a good buy. Waterford Crystal, I never fail. Uh, the Kettle, the Ernie, it's a bit out of my comfort zone, but you know what? If you don't buy out the comfort zone, you'll never learn. And I'm not afraid to fail. If I make a small loss on something, I really don't care. Guys, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you've enjoyed having a look at a few bits I've bought in this week. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I meant to do. I was going to tell you, I'm um, I'm doing a live feed on Nick and Andrea's channel either this week or next week. So keep your eyes open for that. Guys, thanks for watching. Bye for now.